Here it was the morning of day three, and what an incredible sunrise this turned out to be. I spent the first hour taking some photographs while listening to the elk off at a distance. Then it was time to head to Ridgeway, Colorado to get my morning coffee. After eating a good breakfast and having my coffee in hand, it was time to explore some of the backcountry around the northwestern part of the San Juan Mountains. I found a good road just off the highway outside of town that would take me south into National Forest Land. The views around every corner seemed to explode the farther I drove off the beaten path. It didn't take long to find a good location to stop and taking the amazing views of the San Juan Mountains off in the distance. An unsettled weather, so I need to get on line here and figure out which direction to head today. I don't think the weather in uh, Telluride is looking too good, so. I decided to set up my camera for some time lapse while a crazy storm was brewing up towards the southwest. After checking out the weather online, I changed my plans and made my way towards Uray, Colorado, since there was no rain in the forecast in that area. I've been through Uray many times over the past years, but never spent the time to explore the back roads around the area. When I turned off the highway and made my way into the backcountry, I had no idea what I was in for on this drive. A few miles up I was blown away to find the road was carved out of a sheer cliff. With a good thousand foot drop to my left, I knew this was a true no-fall zone. Each passing mile I would climb higher and the road seemed to get more rough around each corner. But at this point of the drive, I was determined to make it to the top. That's pretty much my stopping point. I think I might do a little hike up around that hill there. It's where you need like a good sized Jeep or quad right now to get up in these parts. Let's take a look over here. Just amazing what this place looks like. It's almost fake looking. Pretty cool. Okay, we made it, uh, well, we made about three quarters up the mountain. Decided not to push it anymore. I didn't want to get stuck, which would really suck. If you're afraid of heights, I would not recommend this road. <laughs> so it's uh, about a 2,000 foot drop in some of the areas. But uh, absolutely gorgeous up here. Feeling excited I made it so far up the mountain. There was one last thing I had to do before I left this beautiful place. Extreme selfie. I spent a good hour hiking around the area and taking a few photographs. Around noon I knew it was time to head out and make my way to the west side of the San Juan Mountains. As I made my way down the mountainside, I had to wonder if anyone had ever drove off this road. And if so, I am sure they're not here today to tell the story. With only a few hours of sunlight left on this day, I knew I had a lot of ground to cover to get to my next destination. There was an old abandoned mine I wanted to get to in a remote section of the San Juan Mountains 
and I need to get there before sunset. Okay, just hiked up to this cabin. Old abandoned mine up here. This one's definitely probably haunted. Not sure if I'll come up here and shoot this tonight or not with the photos here, but definitely windy up here right now. Here comes big gust. Probably the miners telling me get the hell out of here with the wind. It's a sign. So I might try to do that tonight. Do some time lapse. That'll be a good night. Got a long night ahead of me. I'm gonna go and take a shower, get some dinner, cold beer, and then try to catch the uh, set up on top of. Uh, Another ride and then we'll be back here. Hopefully the wind dies down a little bit. We're in for quite the adventure tonight. Having a little time to kill before sunset, I decided to head into Telluride, Colorado to do some exploring around town. After doing some exploring around town, I then decided to make my way to the village where I wanted to park the SUV and catch the gondola to the top of the mountain in hopes of capturing a very nice sunset. As I started to make my way up the mountain, I had a good feeling I was going to be treated with some very nice views when I made it to the top. It didn't take long to make it to the top of the mountain. I then unloaded from the gondola and started a short walk on a gravel path in hopes of finding a good location to set up the camera equipment before sunset. Well, I finally found a pretty good spot to set up. So, got the camera going. Hopefully capture a cool uh, sunset with the chairlift in the foreground which will be kind of cool looking so we'll see how that all turns out but definitely a beautiful evening sitting up here on top of the mountain can't ask for uh, better weather heading down to uh, get back to my vehicle and the gondola is stuck. Great. <laughs> well, got a good sunset this evening, so as soon as I ever get off here, I'm gonna get some dinner and get some good beer. I'm ready for a cold one. It's been a few days. Late that night after having a good dinner, it was time to make my way back to the old abandoned mine. With no moon expected on this night, I had a feeling I would be able to capture the Milky Way shining bright high above one of the cabins. Oh, 
Okay, I made it to the creepy cabin and just doing some night shots here. Probably can't really see it off in the distance here, but got the Milky Way out, no moon, so it should be a good night of shooting. Hopefully don't get any uh, haunted ghosts coming out here. Pretty crazy. Uh, the winds were just whipping here just a little bit ago, and all of a sudden it's just perfectly still out, dead quiet. Probably the uh, haunted ghost coming out or something. I don't know. Nothing like being by yourself at some creepy old freaking mining camp, huh? Okay, just got my shot. Hearing some uh, creepy. Uh, Noises around here, time to get the hell out of here. Well, I found a new spot to set up. Had to get away from the uh, haunted ghost. So this place seems to be uh, a little bit better. I'm just gonna try to capture the Milky Way tonight. Let's see how that goes, so. Anyways, uh, avoid any uh, ghosts, so that's always a good thing. Kind of a creepy area. Pretty crazy. After setting up camp a couple miles down the road, I decided to start a fire to help keep warm from the mountain chill. It didn't take long for me to wind down and then drift away into a deep sleep. <laughs> 